guys, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be doing a simple makeup video. When I say simple, it's just a casual chilled video, okay? Um, I've got some products, some new, some not, and some that I've just been loving lately. So we're just going to be playing around with them and chatting i guess before we jump into the video i'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to ikra bb so thank you so much for your comment if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment i'm first going to start off with these nip and fab vitamin c fix brightening pads just to like prep my skin exfoliate my skin a bit as well they come in these like wet little pads and you just literally pull one off oh my god my hands are so ashy oh i don't even think i have moisturizer these pads are so nice i literally use them every day like this is definitely something like i'll always repurchase it's like the neutrogena uh, hydro boost cleanser um the gel cleanser it's like something i always have to buy like i literally buy two a month at least so this is definitely another one that i will always have in my skincare drawer i'm going to use some of this body shop vitamin c spf cream it's very rich really nice for dry skin it literally smells like fresh oranges do i look tan i really feel like i didn't tan much in turkey maybe my arms maybe my arms a little bit but not that much oh my god quick story time i didn't really vlog this in my vlog but i went and did a on my last day there i went i woke up early to go get a massage so i went in and i was like i just want a deep tissue massage so i went for the medical massage um before i keep on talking i'm gonna use this benefit eyebrow pencil this is the benefit brow contour pro and i'm gonna use the deeper shade first so it's like this um turkish lady that does it for you she was really nice when she took me to the room like she literally put her hand around my, my her arm around my waist and like brought me to the room like very like personal it's like in india when you get massages they're so personal like they've seen it all they've done it all like in their area so it's like they're not scared to like touch people i don't know i got that vibe my mom said that she had a similar experience in india um, so anyways, I go in the room and it's really relaxing, she put the music on, um, it's clean, it's good, and then she's like, get all your clothes off, I was like, all of it, and I'll, she was like, yeah, all of it, she didn't really speak English that well, I'm just using a spoolie from a, another pencil, so then I'm undressed, I've got the towel around me, she's like, lay down on the bed, she literally takes the towel off me, I'm butt naked, and she see, she's seeing everything, I was like, bloody hell, my this woman's actually seen me naked like i felt so weird but she's a woman like i don't really care um so i lay down she, she sees my butt and everything she puts the towel on my body and then she literally gets on all fours on my body like literally she's on top of me i've never experienced that anything like it i've only had two massages in my life i do really enjoy them but anyways let me continue my story so when she she just like literally presses her whole full body weight on you and it was it felt good like i'm not gonna lie so next step she starts putting oil on you like some, she really massages you and sometimes it really freaking hurt but it's like that good pain you know like it's untying all the knots in your muscles but it was painful like i had to take deep breaths you know anyways especially when you go over a painful spot and you're just like please don't know, go over the that bit again and then she does like five more times it's like death but i knew it's like it was gonna help me after she literally takes the towel off my bum and then starts massaging my bum cheeks i was like okay i sit on that thing all day long it's gonna help me you know i, I do an office job <laughs> i really enjoy when she massages my feet but who else gets this when anyone gets this foot massage or any, if anything like touches my foot like the under bit I get like a heartburn, it's so weird. And then she's like, turn around, she sees everything, she lifts the, the um, towel, she sees everything, everything, okay? And then she's, she massages my armpits. I was like, what on earth is going on? I'm getting my armpits massaged. I can't lie though, I really did enjoy the massage. It was definitely a weird experience. I mean, I'm not too bothered to go naked in front of a woman, you know, but we all got the same stuff, like, come on now. But it was weird. 
one thing i did notice is when i was abroad my skin like i had a really bad reaction on my arms i don't know what it was and my skin was so dry like i didn't even want to put makeup on it i thought like at least one day i'll do a full b like i literally didn't even want to do that oh my god if you do have funny massage stories let me know because uh that was definitely a peculiar one for me i think it's a normal thing but it was my first time so i felt so weirded out i did give her a good tip though because i felt like she it felt good like it was painful but it was like the type of massage i like you know when i bother my boyfriend for massages like he i'm always like do it harder like it needs to hurt so like that was basically what i always wanted i received these new glow lip oils by revlon this is in the shade this is in the shade glowed up rose it's literally my first time trying it that definitely does feel nice it smells nice we're just gonna wear it throughout it's got a little bit of a shimmer the pipette thing is useless it's just like the packaging it's just a normal lip oil thing it smells nice so we're just gonna keep that there let it hydrate my lips a bit i thought we'd be coming back to like really cold weather but the weather's actually not that bad i've tied my hair up guys um so now i'm gonna use some of the hourglass brow volumizing fiber gel go i really really like it when you can see like all the individual hairs in my brows and this hourglass brow gel is really good because it's good at imitating brow hairs where i'm bold like sparser i'm going to take some of the foundation i'm using today in my eyebrows now i'm using this benefit boing concealer in the shade nine This is a really thick concealer, so I do like it as an eye base. For palette today, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I am going to go in straight with Ada, which is a nice brick shade. Okay, I've really roughly blended that in my crease. Now I'm just going to go in with the new Living My Best Light by a Liquid Crystal Eyeshadow by Beauty Bay. It's in the shade Peach Quartz. The shade is beautiful. And I'm just going to pop this straight on my lid. These are definitely not waterproof, but they do stay in place when they're dried. Kind of like a reflex. Like it's got some pink but it's like peachy i don't know it's so pretty i've been um, watching this new series called unbelievable i don't know if it's i think it's based on a real story i've been so into like criminal lawyer kind of series which is so unlike me i'm just gonna take a brush and just pat this to help it dry in the meantime i'm just gonna curl my lashes I think I can get away with not cutting that. So I'm going to be using some of the Blink by Skin Face Beauty lashes. I tried Santorini last time, but this one I'm, but this one is called Delphi, and so I'm just going to try it out today. By the way, Skin Face Beauty is my lovely friend. I definitely recommend checking out her lashes. I love Santorini. I might even love these to be honest. They're just so comfortable. And if you're the type of person that likes to wear lashes on a daily basis, you're going to love these because they're so wispy and natural looking, but still like bolsies, you know? Look at that. So easy to put on. I didn't even need to shape them. I didn't even need to cut them or anything. So I do have really big eyes, to be honest. But um, yeah, these are just so perfect. Perfect, P, perfect. Some glue on my lid. I use the Huda Beauty glue, by the way. Okay, let's now move on to face. My lashes are on. The shadow was being a bit of a pain, but in the end, it is really pretty. But it's a pain to apply because it moves around a lot before it dries. Um, it's not good at laying, layering at all. That's just my uh, thoughts on it. Um, so my, my skin's already moisturized. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation in this shade 60CG. Blend that all out. 
this foundation is just so flawless. I've been trying out these Versanti liquid cover up foundation and concealer in one and the color correcting concealer. Um, these are actually really, really nice. I'm going to first start off with the Versanti liquid VO2 color correcting concealer first. I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eyes. To be honest, I could just use this on its own, but the formula is different than anything I've tried before. It's very liquidy, but like not too liquid. And it just blends so nicely. So this is the color corrector. Look at that. You could just get away with the color corrector alone. Next, I'm gonna be using the, their concealer in V6. Just a little bit, a few strokes out. Love like the way it's really hydrating, but it still like covers up, but it's not like an oily hydration. It's really nice. It almost feels like a watery hydration, but it doesn't just sit there. I don't know how to explain it, but I just love this. I've been loving this powder. It's a Laura Mercier translucent powder. The best thing ever. Like this definitely deserves all the hype that it gets. It's so nice. Just press that on. I'm now gonna use one of my favorite bronzers at the moment and it's the Physician Formulas Bronzer in the deep one. I actually, I think I've got this on Feel, uh, Look Fantastic or Feel Unique, but they now have them in the UK, you can buy them. I don't know if you can get them in stores, but the smell is amazing. And because I'm slightly darker right now, it's a good match. I'm now gonna use the Versanti Boom Blush in Dal 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 Dahlia. I could not say that right there, but it's a very, very pretty shade for my skin tone. And then for a bit of glow, I'm going to be putting some of the NYX Machinist highlighter in Grind. I'm going to be trying the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray for the first time today. This is so hyped up. Um, I got sent a mini one, so I'm really excited to try this. I'm going to spray it all over my skin. I think the lip oil by Revlon is a big thumbs up. It definitely softened my lips up, especially it's been so dry lately. Um, so, like, I would say yes to it for, like, a makeup prep. Uh, lip prep. I don't know like as you're doing your makeup just pop that on and it will just prep your lips at the end for your lips Your lipstick, um, but I wouldn't wear it necessarily on its own outside just to finish off the eyes I'm gonna use the same color we used earlier on which is Ada and I'm just gonna buff that on my lower lash line I'm gonna be using the Versanti Cardial Waterline in intense black What I like about Versanti is like the people behind the brand actually know what us brown people need in terms of makeup tones and um, they did so well with the concealer and look at this cardial. It's insane. It's like black. And then we're going to put some mascara, my Lash Sensational by Maybelline. You guys know what it looks like. It looks like this. Why do I always do that? I put a dot on my nose. For lip combo today, I'm going to be using my MAC lip pencil in cork and my Huda Beauty matte lipstick in Anniversary. Huda Beauty actually came out with new shades in this and I can't wait to swatch them for you guys. Now just to top that off, I'm going to use the Hourglass 
Unreal Lip Gloss in Ignite. Right, so that's my face done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming and playing with makeup. I haven't done it in a good week now, but love the eyes, even though I had a bit of trouble with the shadow. But yeah, I've been loving this like nude kind of lip lately. Like it imitates an actual like natural lip. Thanks so much for watching guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do so. Um, I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for all the love. Love you guys lots and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.